I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ash? Okay. Sean Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um, he didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. Sean Mars's life may depend on what you know. Tell us what you know, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. Blake, stop that. Immediately. Let go of me. You... You have no right! <laughs> Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? What, you getting cold feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're gonna stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. He feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. It must have fallen out of his pocket. I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. 
I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminal. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer.